Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So, it's been a little while since, um, well, in game time that is, since we've uh, managed to get into any combat, and we've moved systems, we've moved from uh, Laurent to Candice. Didn't take long to get here, about 16 days or so, but we were doing a lot of repairs in the process. The past couple of episodes against the clans and against um, what was supposed to be an easy mission. Um, Gave us a bit of damage that we had to repair. So let's have a look at the mech bay before we do anything today. So we needed to do a couple things. Uh, one, first of all, we had to repair the bushwhacker. So let's have a look at this guy. Now, I was toying around with a couple of builds with this guy. Uh, the first thing I was going to do is I was going to put two um, uh, Thunderbolt systems in this guy, like we had last time. Uh, the accuracy was actually pretty good. Uh, but we've only got like two Thunderbolt 15s and I wanted to get these ER large lasers in here that we got They do the same amount of damage um, For far less tonnage with no ammo uh, So this is what we ended up doing. So we put to two ER clan lasers that we got we had the clan Gauss rifle from before which we dropped in and a uh, couple of tons of ammo and tons of heat sinks so right now uh, The heat sinking on this is pretty good. It's almost neutral, but not quite um uh, why did I leave the Artemis system in here? Well, I guess we're changing that. Uh, well, you know what? We can't right now. We'll have to pull this out. Uh, why? I don't know why I left that in. I think because I changed to the Gauss Rifle at the last second. And I forgot to change that around. I did have a build with the uh, two ER large lasers. And I did have a Thunderbolt in it. I was towing around with putting like a, maybe a smaller Thunderbolt in as well. But the idea of using this as long range with Gauss Rifles um, seemed to be a better idea. I also played around with dropping the couple of clan LRM 20s in here and filling the torso with ammo um, and using the Artemis system and I think that's why I left this in here. Uh, but the um, lack of pinpoint damage from the uh, LRMs really isn't doing well against the clan, like the clans. I have to be pinpoint really against clan max to be able to do um, some heavy damage or bring them down, which is why I kind of went with the Gauss Rifle. So we're going to run with this build today uh, and see how that goes. We've got a ton and a half here to play with, so we can figure out what we're going to do with that afterwards. Maybe we just pull up the patchwork material and add a bit of armor to the back. I'm, I'm not really sure yet, but we'll figure that out. So um, that's the Bushwhacker. And then the fire starter basically got repaired. Its back took a lot of damage, so um, it basically got repaired. Nothing got changed on it. But it's back in the game. It's ready to go. Um, the Hunchback took a bunch of damage as well. And we've changed this guy significantly from the last time. Before we had the four medium lasers. Um, or is it this? No, that's the Blackjack. Sorry. Uh, this guy we had uh, the Ultra 10 on it, uh, which we lost. But I just managed to put in two uh, PPC double pluses. So now we've got some heavy long range pinpoint damage. 65 damage each. Um, it is running very, very heat efficient as well. Uh, we left the Warfare Suite and the TTS Energy in here, um, plus the Breacher Cockpit. So this thing should work really well, um, do a lot of damage against the lower tonner mechs. Uh, I did find a weapon mount in the store here when we got here, so I put that on here as well. So that's going to help out. Uh, so that's the Hunchback. Now I haven't touched the Blackjack. That's something we have to look at at some point. The four medium lasers and the machine gun arrays really aren't cutting it on this guy. So we'll have to figure out what we're going to do with this guy. Uh, not really sure just yet. So that's the lances as they stand. And we're going to go into the command center right now. Let's have a look at our contracts. So we kind of got fortunate. Um, we're still sort of figuring our lances out, how we're going to be building them to take on the clan. So we've got like half of these missions are clan missions. The other half of these missions are against pirates and stuff. So uh, we got like one and a half skull missions. I know they're not really that tough, uh, but we do have an incomplete intelligence here. Two and a half skulls against the clan. So we're going to work our way up towards that uh, and get that done as well. Um, and then maybe some of these up here, like hostile insertion um, is fire mandrel, fire mandrel heavy lance. We might attempt that, not 100% sure. Um, leaving a mark is a destroy the base against Lothian at four skulls. So we might get some good stuff out of that as well. So there's a bunch of really good missions here. But I think I'm going to start off with an insurgent leader today. It's a one and a half skull mission against the clans, going against an uh, assassinate mission against the higher level mech. So hopefully um, we can find something good, get some good stuff off it. So we're going to go full salvage because we're okay for the end of the month. I did have to sell a bunch of stuff to get us to get our funds back to where 
we kind of had them. Um, we had a few extra engines, um, stuff that we weren't using, uh, internal combustion engines, things like that. So I just sold a whole bunch of junk, extra medial lasers, just got rid of all that. So um, let's deploy, actually, uh, just so you guys know, let's go to the mech bay one more time, um, just to show you that I'm actually not selling any mech parts. So if we go to storage, we go to light mechs, we haven't really got into light mechs in quite a while, but as you can see, we do have lots of parts here. Medium max, same idea. I haven't been selling any parts at all, uh, keeping everything. So whatever we get as salvage is going right into the mech bays. I'm not, so whatever, like I said, I'm not selling anything. So whatever parts we get, we get. Um, looks like we've got, we're getting close on this one. We got six parts of a Vindicator. Uh, we have other Cicada parts kicking around, Kentaro parts. So we're close on a bunch of these guys, like about five or six parts with a bunch of them. So we might get another medium sooner or later. Heavy mechs, we've got a ton of parts here, but nothing that's really, really good with the exception of the Rifleman, which we're still waiting on finding another Rifleman. Catapult, which we're still at 7 of 8. We've been here for a long time. We've got six parts of Warhammers now, so we might be able to pick up a Warhammer sooner or later. And we've got three, and I think we've got another Jager mech. Yeah, another three here. Parts of a Jager mech, so we might be able to pick one of those up. And then in the Assault category, uh, we're still waiting on a lot of stuff here. A couple parts of a Naga. We've got um, uh, two Atlas parts. Picked up another Zeus part, the Highlander part. So we're really far off before we get another Assault mech. But um, we're doing well in the other categories. So let's just go right in here to the contracts. So I just wanted to show you that, just so you know that I'm not actually just selling mech parts to, to stay afloat here. Uh, so let's negotiate. There's our salvage we're going to take. And let's flush out our secondary lance. Once again, I, I, you know, if anybody from uh, the uh, harebrained schemes is watching, let's get a uh, multiple set of lances that we can just set up and deploy rather than having to constantly reload our guys. That would be great. Not that it'll happen, but you can always ask. You don't get if you don't ask. All right, here we go. Okay, here we are. Nice rainy valley. Uh, looks like we got three, two lances plus the boss who's probably got a guy with him. So we're going to have to kill the guys up front here fast. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Okay, so if you've never played this map or you're not familiar with it, there's usually three guys here and one over here from the main lance and then the second lance will show up. Uh, the boss slowly makes his way down. So the idea is to kill everybody on this side as fast as we can. This is probably a white. Kill everybody over here as fast as we can. Keep the high ground. And when these guys start to show up, hopefully we can kill them before the boss starts raining, raining death down on us. Um, yeah, so that's the plan anyway. We'll see how it goes. Sometimes if, if these guys are really slow, we'll push our way up the hill and engage the boss and try and kill him before these guys get into the combat. But we'll see how it goes. Like I said... Um, not 100% sure how this is going to play out yet. Let's get some eyes on. on the move. Full speed. Okay, there's a second mech up there. Hopefully we're dealing with lights here. Don't know yet. Oh, it's a Jenner 2C. That's a... Oh, I hate these guys. Oh, I hate these guys. These guys are head hit nightmares. We got to try and kill this guy fast. And leave the boomstick off. On it. Uh, I was really hoping for a tag hit. It's ridiculous evasion too on these guys. So, yeah. um, they're light machine guns, so they're going to have a long distance. So we do need to sprint. Let's get in the trees up here. Got it. No shooting, just running. I got a feeling she's going to be a target this battle. Uh, let's fire everything. Hopefully, we get lucky with the goss. Here we go. Nope. Okay, got lucky with large, that's good. He's taking a lot less damage than I thought he would. Okay, we'll get eyes on that guy over there. What do we got here? Firestarter 2C. That's multi target. We'll go this route and we'll fire it all. 
Oh, yes. Nicely done. Yeah, not a big deal. How do we do against this guy? No damage detected. That was a major torso hit. Yeah, he's hurt. He is hurt. Not full armor either to start, so that's good. good sign. Same with this guy. Yeah, not full armor to start, which is a good sign. But how slow they're taking, it's a bad sign. That's not far enough, buddy. That's what I mean. Like, look at that. Yeah. We gotta kill a Jenner fast. Another fire starter. Pretty sure. There's another guy down over here, probably. Unless they're light, and I mean, this is a. No, there he is. I was gonna say this is a. Um, there's another fire starter. This is a um, one and a half skull mission. So I was thinking that maybe they were two two under understaffed lances, but it's unlikely. Not for these guys. You didn't move far enough. Kind of glad these Gauss rifles are relatively inaccurate. Well, I don't want to say that. We, I mean, we got to give our guys credit. We do have really high, um, really high movement and evasion and stuff. So it gives them a chance for a back attack there. Uh, 67, 73, a little better from this side. So let's do it from there. Okay, he's unstable, which means he's a target now for everybody else. And there goes all his machine guns. <laughs> you don't put all your weapons in one spot, guy. Commander. Okay, let's take this guy. Uh, we're going to go from the front, I think. No, we're going to go from here. See if we can take off that Gauss rifle. Hard to take his leg. That works, too. Tag, you're it, buddy. Forgot to turn the boomstick on. Gotta stop doing that. Yep. One of these days it's gonna cost us. Copy that. Okay, let's get the whacker back here. Gonna just open up on this guy. Roger. Okay, that's it for him. Okay, so that's a 20 anyway. Four damage, it's an ATM, so it's not a 20. Oh, okay. Um, let's make sure this guy's gone. Okay, two down. Thank goodness for reduced armor, eh, guys? So now we need to rotate left. Take this guy out first. We don't want him at our backside when we're taking these guys on. We'll draw this guy in. Hopefully kill him. And then we'll be engaging these four. Not sure how heavy this guy is back there. But... Thank goodness for the misses though. Comes another Gauss Rifle. Dangerous, dangerous stuff. Ready for order. Um. Orders. Yeah, you can go farther going this way, so let's do that. Attack this guy from behind. Okay, and then pilot will do this guy. They can't see us yet, so 
We're okay turning our back. Whoa. He's just taking a dirt nap. We can salvage that. Okay, what do we got here? Don't know yet. Don't know yet. I think both of these guys are probably part of this unit. Um, what do you need? I need you back up on the hill, girl. I'll do what I can. We're going to be taking a turn to uh, get some heat back here. Okay, nice. Tango down. So they don't have any assault mechs. That I know of. At least it doesn't feel that way. Okay, they got two lights. So I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm thinking that with with the clans, definitely have to go with two melee mechs. If you want to minimize damage against us, that's really the way to go. I think. What's up, boss? Got it. Let's get over here. Yeah, we lose all the heat in one turn, so that's good. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. Not gonna let my uh, impatient nature get the better of me this time. It cost us in that last battle versus the uh, inner sphere stuff against those vehicles, so I gotta be very careful this time. So it's three lights. This guy's probably heavy. Uh, okay, that's the main guy. We can't shoot at him, so we have to. We should be engaging these guys as soon as possible. I think. Actually, I'm gonna. Re I'm gonna. We're gonna sit here, see what happens. It should encourage them to move in. Okay, you're in punch bot range now. And you might be with my other guy. Yeah, so it was a leader and another guy. So we got five lights so far. See what their leader does. Don't want to commit myself if I think he's going to do a flank attack. Okay. Hickory, can we get eyes on, please? We can. Not the guy I want, though. Um, yeah. What can I do, you fool? No problem. Okay. Locust, fire starter. Fire starter. Let's go this route. I got him. All right, soften him up a little bit. So these guys aren't at full strength either. I tell you what, we better check my targeting. Yes. <laughs> I tell you what, we don't need to check your targeting because I know it's working. Tested it myself. Nice. Oh, too many misses there for my liking. Where do we get them, though? CT hit. That's really juicy. What do you need? Let's follow up on that CT hit, please. Fire. Ah. I'll drop some ATM shenanigans on that guy.
Something like this, probably. Let's just fire everything. Come on. There we go. So that's half their guys gone. Five against four now. Watch my stick. Yeah, I know. I saw that coming long before you did, buddy. But we had to take the chance. We had to take one of those guys out right away. This is a white over here. We got to get this guy too. He's probably going to jump into battle. Defeats what I wanted to do, but that's okay. That's an Irby. 2C. What has he got? Ultra 10, okay. Receiving you. Let's do it. Oh! Nice shooting, buddy. Nice shooting. Nice punching, that is. Eliminated. I can do. Not sure if this strategy will work really well against the heavier mechs, but... Alright, let's get them on this side. Let's make them decide which side they want to be turning their backs to. Okay, what's this guy got here? Yep. Roger. Yeah, we're gonna shoot on this guy. Hopefully we can take that arm. I think this is time for the warlord. Attacking from position. Got the leg though, I think. Torso and arm. How did that taste? Okay, he's a seventy five tonner. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna push in. Give him something to shoot for, I think. Um, gonna hold off Warlord on this one, but we are gonna multi target uh, this guy and this guy. And B is gonna get the ATMs and everything else to A. Oh, I missed with the AC. Really? Wow. Okay. Come on, let's core this guy. Ah, close. Destroying all the good gear, though. Okay, Hickory, I need that, uh... Need that Locust gone. It's gonna be a problem. He'll back attack me. Just CT him, please. Okay. Got that medium pulse left. Yeah, pretty good shooting.
Yeah, I got a couple of nibble, nibbles on him. Commander. Come on, Bubba. Okay, there goes the Gauss rifle. Oh, catapult 2C. I just ate all those missiles. Delicious. Wow, he's got some uh, good shiz on him. Um, let's get our stability back at the trees. Yeah, we're gonna multi-target. Yeah, let's go this route. Wow, he missed with the AC-20 again. We get the knockdown? No. Really hoping for that. Primary target damage, Commander. Now we need to sprint up to that guy now. This guy will die next turn. Yeah. Just got flamers, buddy. Don't worry about it. you to sprint down here. Copy that. And I need you to target this guy. Firing. Okay, problem one down. Waiting for order. Moving to position. Putting my weight in. Wow, he went down fast. Problem two taken care of. Ready for orders. Roger, full speed. Yeah, come on down, buddy. Sharing the love. Come on. Send me a real mess. No, 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 no. Don't say things like that. You know what happens when you say stuff like that. Maybe you don't, but I sure as hell do. Wow, that was awful. So when he retreats out of here, this is the way he's got to go. He's got to come this way. So now we've just cut off his retreat. That's all we're doing. Yeah. Acknowledged. Ah, heating up fast, eh? Acknowledged. Nicely shot. See what he does. Oh, you like her. Long range game, eh? My armor's melting off. Yeah. Full throttle. I should have saved my uh, warlord to here, but not much we can do about it now. Up, 
Here he comes. Putting my weight into it. Hoping for the knockdown off this. Wow, he stayed stable. I'll give it to him. Inflicted some heavy damage. Yeah, you did. Good to go. Didn't matter though. Let's make sure we stay in the trees up here. On my way. Double time. Standing by. Well, you got Warlord back. Oh, he's completely unstable, eh? See if we can leg him. I'm taking the shot. Ah, figures. There's the knockdown, though. That's what we were looking for. Three to four. So this guy started with full armor, I think. Too little, too late, buddy. Too little, too late, I'm afraid. Alright. So, we want to maximize salvage off this guy. He's got lots of armor. Well, yeah, actually pretty good. Pretty good overall. So, let's not go too crazy on him. Let's fire just the ATMs. Okay, ammo explosion. So we should be able to, if we can take a torso, let's let Pylon do this. Let's take this torso, Pylon, if you can, and knock him down. Okay, that's the torso for another wound and a knockdown. That should be it. Scored a critical hit. Come on, figure that out. Yeah, there we go. Excellently. That was... Yeah, I totally meant to do that. Mission successful. Alright, so increased by 40%. 148,000, which will probably... Well, you know what? We did pretty good. I didn't, we didn't take that much damage. Uh, Pylon did take some back hits, but... You know, we put him into a position to take those hits, so... 148 should cover our damages. Yeah, not a lot of experience, but I don't really care about that. All right, look at all these juicy parts. Let's see what we get out of this. You got three out of eight of the fire star, yeah, fire starter. No gender parts. Got, still got some white parts. ERPPC clan. Heat 55 though. 75 damage. We do have a, P I think we have a PPC capacitor. And we have the clan uh, exchanger still too. So clan Gauss rifles, another clan LRM 20. Lots of clan cockpits. Clan endo. Clan XL engine. God, there's so much good stuff. Uh, defense gyro. That's really good, too. Um, and a massive engine, too, eh? Ah. It's just hard to narrowing it down to, like, TTS double plus energy. Watchdog suite. Really? One and a half tons, too. Look at that thing. Uh, we don't have immediate need for that. But we do have a need for this. Evasion is life. Thinking about taking this TTS plus energy too. Double plus. Uh... No, I think we got the right things here. Let's confirm this. Those are actually fairly common. So, catapult, two fire starter pieces. Nice. We're within grasp of that. Two clan Gauss rifles. Oh, man. If we get a uh, Jaeger mech or a uh, rifleman, we might be able to use both of these. What else do we get? Uh, that's it, really. 
So, well, we made it okay, I guess. Another clan flamer. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. All right, five hundred and fourteen thousand left. Seventy-four thousand. That's not too bad. It's half of what we made, so it's not that bad. Not that bad at all. We got thirty days to our next financial report. Let's have a look at our tasks here. Uh, so we want the Wolverine up first. Yep, like that. And so we're going to end the episode here. Next episode, when we come back, we will take our second lance into battle. See what we can get out of that. And then maybe, depending on how well it goes, we might be able to pull off a couple of missions. We're going to do some conventional missions against the Sphere guys, probably pirates. Um, most likely. To try and make a little bit more sea bills, maybe get some good salvage that we can sell, whatever. Um, who knows what we can pick up off those. A, and then we'll refit our mechs with the new gear we got, because we do have a lot of stuff, um, like a lot of new gear that we can add to some of our mechs here, just to improve them slightly. Um, I think we did pretty good against that one and a half skull mission. The mechs that we were facing were lower in armor, which was great, so it was a, we were able to capitalize on that. Um, I think we're hitting nice and hard now. I think with the two melee mechs attacking the, a either a single target or multiple targets, depending on their weight class, um, and doing damage and making them unsteady, and then letting our pinpoint boys, the uh, uh, Bushwhacker and the Zeus, hammer them hard with uh, the big weapons right afterwards. I think that's going to work really well. It might not work so well at higher levels, but we'll see how that goes. Um, but I do think we need to run both of those guys in the in that lance right now against the clans. I think that's the only way it's going to work for now. So we'll leave it there. Um, if you like the episode, please drop a like. If you got any comments or suggestions, maybe a different way of configuring the lance to fight against the clanners, so we can keep moving up. I know we need, I know we need some heavier mechs that's, that are going to really help out. But um, yeah, if you have any suggestions, drop it down in the comments below. And until next time, we'll see you all later.